look absolutely smashing, dear, and I can't wait, I have to say. Oh, it's the poppets. Hello, my little poppets, and welcome to story time. And what a creepy story time it is, and that is because Halloween is tomorrow. And I tell you what, my little poppets, I have been so excited. I love Halloween, and it's one of my favourite holidays, I have to say. And Stinky is already getting prepared. He's got his cute little mask on there. He wants to be a bear this year when he goes trick or treating. So we've been talking about all sorts of creepy things, stories, and of course, poems. And I've got a cracker for you, I have to say. Listen to this one. This is one that my grandmother used to tell me and I simply love it. Give me the grey skies of London and the cold winds at night. Tree branches tapping on my window as demons take flight. Dogs howl at the moonlit moon. Cats screech with fright. Shadows drift down the hall. You better snuggle up and sleep tight. Ooh, yes, well that's a creepy one and I tell you what, Michael Poppins, I used to love that one. My granny used to tell that one to me every Halloween. Well, speaking of all things creepy, we've got a wonderful cake here. Look at that. I do believe there's a creepy character on the top with some lovely, delicious candies and treats. So, Stinky, I think you should take your mask off, dear, and to come out of there. That's better. There he is, my little poppets. And you should get comfy, dear, so we can have our wonderful story. Now, today's story, my little poppets, is called The Spider and the Fly. Thank you, Stinky, dear. The Spider and the Fly. Now, I know that we have had this one before, but I did get a request to have it again, and I thought, well, it is Halloween after all, and it is a cracker, the spider and the fly, I have to say. So, Stinky, you get nice and comfy, dear, and we'll get on with today's story, The Spider and the Fly. One of my favourites, I have to say. Will you walk into my parlour, said the spider to the fly. "'Tis the prettiest little parlour that you ever did spy. "'The way into my parlour is up a winding stair, "'and I have many curious things to show you when you are there. "'And there he is, the wonderful spider, in all his glory there. "'And look at him there, look how large he is with those long, long legs. "'And he's a very handsome spider, I have to say, with a very marvellous top hat.' said the little fly. To ask me is in vain, for who goes up your winding stair can near come down again. Well, there's a very pretty fly there and she has a parasol and a suitcase. So I don't know. I think that fly ought to be careful. I don't know whether I trust the spider. We'll have to wait and see. She's a very pretty fly, I have to say. I'm sure you must be weary, dear, with soaring up so high. Will you rest Upon my little bed, said the spider to the fly. There are pretty curtains drawn around, the sheets are fine and thin, and if you'd like to rest a while, I'll snugly tuck you in. Oh, he'll snugly tuck her in? I bet he would. Look at him there, licking his lips, oh, or his fangs, I should say. Oh, I think he'd like to take a bite out of that sweet little fly. Said the little fly, for I've often heard it said they never, never wake again who sleep upon your bed. And there she is, there, and looks like the spider's bedroom. I can see a bed there, and she's not too sure, I don't think. Not too sure at all. Said the cunning spider to the fly, Dear friend, what can I do? To prove the warm affection I've always felt for you. I have within my pantry good store of all that's nice. I'm sure you're very welcome. Will you please take a slice? Well, please take a slice. And there she is, my little pockets, sitting up at the dinner table. Look at that. All sorts of things happening on that dinner table. Looks like all sorts of nasty, all sorts of insects there, but the fly hasn't noticed. 
Oh no, no, said the little fly. Kind sir, that cannot be. I've heard what's in your pantry, and I do not wish to see. Yes, well, can you imagine, my little poppets, all the things that, that spider would have in his pantry, I hate to think. I wonder what sort of pantry it is. Perhaps it's made of cobweb, I don't know. Possibly. Sweet creature, said the spider, you're witty and you're wise. How handsome are your gauzy wings, how brilliant are your eyes. I have a little looking glass upon my parlour shelf. If you step in one moment, dear, you shall behold yourself. Well, there he is there trying to sweet talk the fly, perhaps in spending the night and staying there. But I think he's got other plans, this spider. Oh, I don't like the look of him, I have to say. I thank you, gentle sir, she said, for what you're pleased to say. And bidding you good morning now, I'll call another day. Well, I think something's telling this fly that I think that she should fly out of there because I'm not so sure about that spider. Look at him. He's on the other page and I saw a wicked look on his face and she's looking back at him and thinking, yes, I'm not so sure. The spider turned him round about and went into his den. For well he knew the silly fly would soon come back again. So he wove a subtle web in a little corner sly and set his table ready to dine upon the fly, to dine upon the fly. See, I told you he couldn't be trusted. He has plans to eat that dear, sweet, poor little fly for his supper. Look at that. Oh, heavens above. What on earth is she going to do? Although I have to say, I do like that top hat. Very smart. Then he came out to his door again and merrily did sing, Come hither, hither, pretty fly, with the pearl and silver wing. Your robes are green and purple, there's a crest upon your head. Your eyes are like the diamond bright, but mine are dull as lead. Dull as lead, look at him there, singing away with his top hat. He's very pleased with himself, I have to say, look at that. He's very pleased because I think he knows what's going to happen next. Alas, alas, how very soon this silly little fly, hearing his wily flattering words, came slowly flitting by. With buzzing wings she hung aloft, then near and nearer drew, thinking only of her brilliant eyes and green and purple hue, thinking only of her crested head, poor foolish thing at last. There he is there with the fly. Oh, I'm shaking my little poppets. I hate to think what's going to happen next. I don't know. Up jumped the cunning spider and fiercely held her fast. Well, I have to say, my little poppets, I'm not at all surprised. Look at that. Now he has her. And I think we all know what's going to happen next. He dragged her up his winding stair into his dismal den within his little parlour, but she'd near come out again. Well, I'm afraid she's done for. Now she's wrapped up like a mummy in the web, and it doesn't look like there's going to be any escape for her. Look at that. No escape at all. Dear, dear me, silly fly. And now, dear little children, who may the story read, to idle, silly, flattering words, I pray you near give heed unto an evil counsellor, close heart and ear and eye, and take a lesson from this tale of the spider and the fly. And that says, rest in peace. And I'm afraid that poor little fly met a terrible end. She became the supper for the spider. Well, the end. And that was called The Spider and the Fly. But you know what? That's just what spiders do. They eat flies and mozzies and all sorts of things like that. And that's just the way it goes, I'm afraid. But poor fly, nevertheless. Well, Stinky, are you going to come up and say hello to the Poppets again, dear? Did you enjoy that story? You did. Well, that's wonderful. I certainly like that one. It's a good one, isn't it? What's that? We've had that one before.
Oh yes, we have had that one before, but it's such a good one, Stinky. And it is Halloween after all. Well, tomorrow anyway. Well, my little poppets, we have come to the end of story time once again. I hope you enjoyed the spider and the fly. We certainly did. And I hope you have a wonderful, delicious and spooky Halloween. And as always, take care and until next time.